The Caleb Williams era begins in this video. And, you know, it actually could have happened in real life, too. We're looking pretty good. One in five. Nice. Love to see it. And if you look at the rest of the schedule, Broncos fans, we might be headed towards the number one overall pick. It's looking good. Now, let's just keep rooting for these other teams and rooting for the Broncos to lose because Caleb Williams is a hell of a quarterback and uh, he could change things around here pretty quickly. Anyways, on to year one in this game, in this franchise with Caleb Williams. And uh, I think we're just going to stick with four wins. I don't know if seven is doable. Still a tough division. And I mean, I don't know about the schedule, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll stick to four. I mean, we won, what, three last year? We should be able to hit four this year. And uh, I would say seven, but I don't know. I feel like we're going to be in that range of like five or six. Still not a good team. It's opening day this week and a fresh start for every team around the league. And you'll be facing the LA Chargers. What's the key to victory? Um, Well, I don't think our defense is stifling. So... I guess we'll go offense. Ideally, we establish a rhythm on offense, dictate the flow of the game, and get a big enough lead to make their offense one-dimensional. I mean, that is true, especially with the Chargers. They like to charge you. Uh, obviously, every offense wants to be balanced. What's your main focus? Uh, obviously, the running game with the rookie quarterback. We want to be. We want to pound the rock. A solid run game is going to limit the opponent's possessions, and the longer we're on offense, the less time they have to uh, score. Beat the Chargers and rush for 150 yards is the goal. Focus your offensive game plan on rushing to help achieve your goal. And now look, as much as we love Caleb Williams and as much as we think he is a great quarterback, we still need to protect him. You know, we can't just out be out here playing like he's Patrick Mahomes yet. Caleb Williams is making his debut this weekend. We've seen in the past that it can be tough for rookies early on. What are you expecting this week? Uh, show flashes. That's what we want to see all year long. We just want him to be himself. That's or There's definitely an expectation for him to make plays, but there's no need to put the world on his back already, and that's exactly right. Beat the Chargers and get two-plus passing touchdowns for Caleb Williams. Uh, I don't know about beating the Chargers, but I think two passing touchdowns uh, is doable. We need to set the scouts here, and look at this draft class. I've never seen this before. We have a quarterback. <laughs> we don't need quarterbacks. There are so many of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the top eight. Goodness gracious. What is happening? That is insane. I've never seen that before. That is wild. Um, so, yeah, we need to get our scouts figured out here. Uh, actually, I want to look at region breakdown here. So, strengths, quarterbacks. You don't say. Right end, cornerback, weakness, right tackle, left guard. Okay, so the whole offensive line just stinks. Great, because that's kind of what we wanted. Um, but we did draft Joe Alt, so we need to figure out right tackle. That's going to be a, 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 you know, a big thing, but the weaknesses are right tackle, so that's not great. Uh, we could look at left tackle. Um, and then I guess we could look at the, I mean, we do need defense men and cornerback. So I don't know. Let's see here. How do we want to handle the scouts? Uh, in the West, we've got outside linebacker, right end and quarterback central. We got quarterback, left tackle and right. end. Okay. So left tackle and central is a big one. Let's do that first. So left tackle and central, because then we can at least, um, I'm not going to put two stars. Let's just do... Actually, I guess we could keep Tanaka here and just do central because they'll look at offensive tackle. So that's probably the best way to do that. And then we'll go ahead and... Do I want to look at safety this year? I don't know. Um, Let's see what else here. Quarterback, left tackle, right end. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Three-star will be corner and safety. Two-star will be defensive end and tight end. Uh, One-star defensive end and offensive tackle inside uh, offensive line and offensive tackle. And then tight end and wide receivers. So those are kind of the positions that we'll be looking at specifically with this draft class. And uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, at this point, right, we're just 
looking to draft best available, I think is the best way to handle this. Um, just because we, we need talent everywhere, basically, other than quarterback, right? We like, we need talent everywhere. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get going for week one against the LA Chargers. We're going to go ahead and defend medium pass. And then we want to run the ball inside. And for our goals, we'll go ahead and do force three turnovers, allow 30 or less today. And then we'll just do the normal offensive yards that we normally do. And let's get into our drills. Drills are done, and let's take a look at injuries here. None on the offense and the defense. Zach Allen has a dislocated shoulder. He's going to miss the game. So that's a big injury to the inside of our defense. Big injury. Uh, oh, wow. We have no upgrades. Okay, well, that sucks. Before we get into week one and we start the season, I do want to spend our staff points here. So... Yeah, um, I think for now, I'm just going to keep it at this. Um, I'm fine with that. But I do want to work on uh, quick throws here. And let's just work on the wide receiver side of things here. Actually, or do I want to do defense? Uh, no, you know what? Let's do defense here. Because getting them finesse moves for the outside linebackers would be massive. Uh, for Benito... Browning, Jonathan Cooper. Um, so yeah, plus three finesse moves for those guys, which is awesome. And then boost speed for outside linebackers as well. We're going to do that. So do stack box here and then boost up the outside linebackers speed, which would be amazing. So there you go. Plus two speed and plus three finesse moves for the outside linebackers. That's pretty good. That's really good. So let's get into it. Week one against the LA Chargers. The 2024 NFL season is underway here in LA. And we'll get a first look at Justin Herbert entering. What year is this for Herbert now? This would be year four or year five. One of those. As you see his overall, he's at an 89 overall, 86 speed. That's a lot higher than I thought he was at. But we'll go ahead and start off this game on defense. Baron Browning, you see, as a starting right outside linebacker or le left outside linebacker. Or is it right? I can't remember. Benito, though, gets free. And Benito will start off his season sacking Justin Herbert. Look at... Bonito, he could have a massive, a massive year. That's what we're looking for. He's at normal dev. Getting him by the end of the year, I think a good goal would be to get him up to superstar dev. I think that's that's doable, as that's going to be incomplete. That's uh, Riley Moss making a nice play on the ball. And it will be a third and 23. This is uh, time for Nick Bonito here. To maybe try to get after him again. And it's picked. Singleton with an interception. What a start from our defense. And Justin Herbert looking absolutely terrible. Here in week one. And our defense immediately gets a big stop. Okay. We're looking good. And now we will see... Caleb Williams, the rookie quarterback out of USC, the number one overall pick, the most hyped quarterback that we've had entering the NFL in a very long time. I mean, you could say Trevor Lawrence, right? You could say um, Andrew Luck, Peyton Manning before that, John Elway before that. We'll start off with the throw, and we're going to be sacked. Uh, Brandon Johnson came open at the last second, but I couldn't get it out in time. And that's a fellow rookie with the sack, and his jersey's all screwed up. So that's cool. Love that that's still a thing, even though, you know, Madden came out and said, Oh, we fixed it! That's going to be Javante Williams with a gain of five, and we'll have third and ten. Probably should not have thrown the ball on, third down, on, on first down. Not the best idea I've had. So third and 10, Caleb back to throw. He's going to hit 
Xavier Worthy who drops it. Fellow rookie. And Xavier Worthy, his first opportunity. And he drops that one from Caleb Williams. And, uh, yeah. New quarterback. Excitement. Same result. Field goal. And that's going to be intercepted. Are you kidding me? Two interceptions are ready for Justin Herbert. What a horrible start to the 2024 season for Justin Herbert. But what a start for our defense. Don't throw at Pat Sertan. Don't do it. Just put that wide receiver on out route and just don't look that way. Ben Powers is hurt. Stunned. Can't believe it. Uh, all right, let's go with the zone run here to Javante. And we're going to bounce it outside, actually. And Javante Williams will have a gain of four. And now Javante's hurt. Okay. Yup. Uh, ben Powers, his risk is high. So we'll uh, keep him out of the game. I'm just going to do a uh, screen here to Jaleel McLaughlin. Just make it an easy decision for Caleb Williams here and just horrible blocking. Unbelievably, unbelievably bad blocking. We got a fourth and one. Coach wants us to go for it. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, you know what? I don't like how this is set up. I don't like that either, though. Um, No, we're just going to run it. I'm going to run it off to the left side, though. And McLaughlin will have a first down. Breaks a tackle, actually. And he will be uh, down to the nine-yard line. And Javante Williams with turf toe. So he's going to be out for the game and probably out for at least two weeks, maybe three or four. Not great for Javante Williams. As Samaji Pirine will run up the middle. Touchdown, Denver. And we will take a 10-0 lead as Maji P. Ryan gets into the end zone. What a start to the year. This was not expected. Oh, Nick Benito comes flying in. And that's sack number two. Nick Benito. Oh, man. What a start to his... What, third year? Yeah, third year. And he's going to get free again. Nearly had another sack. Oh, what a catch. What a throw from Justin Herbert. Wow. Is that is that KJ Ham? No, that's not KJ Hamler. That's just got to be a rookie, right? I have no idea who that is. Who the hell is that? Let's actually, this is a good time to look at their, uh, their depth chart. Obviously got Justin Herbert starting at quarterback. Austin Eckler, Isaiah Spiller, and a rookie, Frank Gore Jr. They drafted. Okay. Oh, look, Andy Janovich. He's their starting fullback. Is he in their starting fullback in real life? I have no idea. Quentin Johnson. Wow. Oh, they do have KJ Hamler. Okay, the dreads threw me off. Um, all right. So they lost Keenan Allen. They lost Williams. So now it's Quinton Johnston entering year two. Joshua Palmer, KJ Hamler. Wow, okay. Gerald Everett still at tight end. You got Rashawn Slater at left tackle. Zion Johnson at left guard. Corey Lindsay at center. Uh, Jamari, Jamari uh, Sel... I can't say his name. I, I just, I, my brain just shut off. And then Trey Pipkins. He is struggling against Nick Benito. Chris Jenkins Jr., the rookie left end. Out of uh, shoot, oh, I just blanked where he's actually where he goes. Uh, but he's starting at left end. Mike Dana at right end. Sebastian Joseph Day at defensive tackle. Uh, Tuli Tupilodu. Uh, English is hard, man. I don't know. Uh, he's starting at left outside linebacker. Eric Kendricks at inside linebacker. Joey Bosa at right outside linebacker at corner. Asante Samuel Jr. They got Jordan Lewis. And Quinian Mitchell, a rookie corner there at safety. They got, that's right. They drafted Cameron Kitchens, but he's hurt. So JT Woods gets to start today alongside Derwin James. So a few rookies actually starting for uh, the LA Chargers. Wanted to say San Diego. Oh my gosh. 
Delpit just got absolutely destroyed. And there goes Trey Pipkins. So it's going to get even easier for Nick Bonito, but a big play in the passing game. And it will be first and down, what, first and 10 from the 40. And this will be a quick throw. I thought Sertan was going to pick that off again. Justin Herbert, one for five. And two interceptions. Not a great start at all. Second and 10 now, three minutes to go here in the first quarter. And Herbert back to throw, and they are going to roll out to the opposite side of Nick Benito. Smart. Smart, smart, smart. Third and three now. Let's see. What do we want to do here? Let's press. See if we can get after Justin Herbert here on third down. And that's going to be picked off. Why are you throwing at Pat Sertan? Interception number two on the day and in the quarter for Pat Sertan. And that's the third interception of the game for Justin Herbert. I, it's on all Madden. I didn't change the sliders. I don't know what's happening. But Jaleel McLaughlin will get a carry off the left side for a gain of five. But, I man, this is a brutal start for Justin Herbert. Like, absolutely brutal. And that's going to be knocked away. Ah, wanted to get rid of that sooner. But I, I hesitated, as you can see the draft class there. Caleb Williams, Joe Alt, Xavier Worthy. And we'll have third and five. Um, I'm going to actually have Mims running in here. And we'll have Piran stay back and block. Don't like it. And down goes Caleb. There is a flag, though. We'll see what the flag is. Oh, holding. On a play where we gave up a sack. Great. Justin Herbert completes a pass to Quentin Johnston. And that's a first down. Oh, you know what? Empty backfield. We're going to use a Bonito here and see if we can get after uh, Herbert. And that is once again caught. So Justin Herbert getting comfortable here, finding his uh, young wide receiver. And that will end the first quarter. The Chargers at the 13-yard line. We have negative seven passing yards. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thanks to our defense, though. We're up 10 nothing. So first and 10 from the 13-yard line. Herbert and shotgun. Eckler beside him. And this is going to be open over the middle. That's KJ Hamler once again. We'll have the catch. It's a gain of nine. Former Bronco. We're going to get out of this. Oh, I do not love this play call. And this is actually going to be a run. Wide open is up the middle. And luckily, Singleton and whoever else got there. I'm not sure. It was Grant Delpit. And we'll have first in goal from the two-yard line. Herbert once again in shotgun. They're going to run it. And Eckler gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. We couldn't get there in time with Drew Sanders. And the LA Chargers on the board for the first time in 2024. And it will be 10-7. Out to Jaleel McLaughlin. And he got a block. And McLaughlin to the 41-yard line. And I guess the benefit to uh, Javante going down is we're going to get a lot of Jaleel McLaughlin in the pass game, in the run game. And uh, hopefully he can have a good game here as he has a gain of seven. Four carries, 26 yards for the second year now running back. Who still doesn't have a face in the game, by the way. Let's just do halfback stretch here. I don't like the pitch. Second and a three, and McLaughlin will not quite have a first down. It will be third and inches. So we'll go ahead and just run it again with him. He's not much of a inside, like he's tiny. He's five foot seven. So like he's not much of an inside running back as it shows there. Kenneth Murray, though, is injured. We'll have fourth and two. Man, do we go for it? It's kind of crazy. No, I'm, I'm going to listen to the coach. We're going to punt it. That's fine. We don't want to do anything crazy with the rookie quarterback. And we'll try and pin him here. And ah, it's not the best punt. Yeah, but that's going to fly into the end zone for our touchback. 
Nick Bonito again, his third sack. On the play that Eckler scored, remember, Pipkin got hurt again. So he's out again. Is that him? Uh, no, that's not him. So a backup right tackle and three sacks now for Benito. And Benito nearly had a fourth and a safety. Oh, my gosh. He's looking like uh, freaking Khalil Mack. I mean, didn't Mack have six sacks in the in the game last week against the Chargers? No, it was against the Raiders. They're going to run a screen. Smart. <laughs> Smart. And that will be 14-11. But the pass rush from Nick Bonito alone has been unreal in this game. And uh, the defense gets another stop. A completion there to Jaleel McLaughlin. McLaughlin's going to be Caleb's best friend in the passing game, I'm, I'm guessing. As Ben Powers is hurt. Not great. We go ahead and hand it off to Samaja Pirine here. And Pirine cut back. Nope. No gain there. And we'll have second and 10. Samaja Pirine, the uh, lone Broncos player to score a touchdown so far in this one. And let's just get it to McLaughlin who drops it. Uh, okay. Need to work on the catching there, McLaughlin. We'll have third and 10 now. We'll probably look back to McLaughlin. Maybe Mims on the outside here. If he has a nice route. Don't love it. We're going to get it lofted up to McLaughlin. Who makes the catch? What a throw. Says poor accuracy, but a great throw from Caleb Williams under pressure. Three catches already in this game for 33 yards for the young running back. We're going to go ahead and throw it here again. And, oh, we're just going to get out of there. Get it to Dulcich. That was a hell of a play. And that will be a gain of seven. So let's, you know what, let's go with the toss here. Yeah, I like this. Get McLaughlin out in space here. Use his speed. And McLaughlin won't quite have a first down. We'll have third and one. And do we have Samaji Piran here for a run? We do. Okay, let's go with inside zone. Just a bigger, stronger back. And we'll hand it off, and Samaji will have the first down. Bites forward down to the 14-yard line. Three carries, 16 yards for Samaji P. Ryan. And uh, that will be the two-minute warning. Jaleel McLaughlin with the handoff inside the 12-yard line in, down to the six. And Ben Powers is hurt. Dude, stay out then. If you can't handle it, stay out. I'm over it. It's kind of weird to throw a screen... Down at the six yard line. I don't know if this is going to work. And no, it, it won't. McLaughlin was just running into his own man the whole goddamn time. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. Coach wants us to go for it. So we will. We'll have fourth and two. I like Mims here on the slant. Might be able to do it. Yep. And oh, that will sneak in. Touchdown, Marvin Mims. A dart from Caleb Williams. And his first passing a touchdown will be to his former college teammate, Marvin Mims. And we'll go up 17-7. No huddle here for the Chargers. They just had a big play to uh, Everett. And Benito nearly had him again. Are you kidding me? KJ Hamler is wide open up the seam. And Justin Herbert threw an absolute just laser. Unbelievable. That was such a quick touchdown <laughs> like holy moly that took 29 seconds two plays 75 yards our defense looked like the 2023 defense there and uh at least we'll get the ball back with a minute to go so we have a chance to go down and score again marvin mims two targets two catches 11 yards and the touchdown i'm gonna run verticals here Interesting. I might just dump it off to Mims underneath, though. That's what we're going to do. And that's going to be inaccurate. All right. Caleb, 7 of 12 on the day. I mean, not horrible. Not horrible at all. We'll set up a screen here, and we're just going to have to lob it. Yeah, there's just no protection. Like, I know you guys are supposed to get out. 
you know, to like block. But, you know, you got to block the quarterback for like a little bit. Like, good lord. We'll just hand it off to McLaughlin. And McLaughlin might have a first down. No, he doesn't. All right. We're, we're going to have to punt. The charge is driving once again. 40 seconds to go. We need our defense, our secondary specifically, to keep up. Benito nearly had another one. He is destroying. Absolutely destroying this right tackle. Like, good lord. This right tackle has no shot. And that's going to be a quick throw to Everett. It will be third and three. We're okay with that. Just don't let them hit a big play over the top here. And the third down here. Benito getting pressure again. That's going to be caught. Gerald Everett with the catch down to the 45-yard line. The Chargers don't have a timeout, though. Six seconds on the clock. Five seconds on the clock. Four. Three. This is going to be the final play. They're not going to kick a field goal. Oh, they will. Oh, my gosh. That incompletion landed just in time. And they're actually 55. This is a 62-yard field goal attempt. They will attempt it here. I'm going to get back with Skinner. And see if maybe we can have a return here. And the field goal is up and no good off to the right. And we will take a 17-14 lead at the half. The story of the day we thought was going to be Caleb Williams. But the real story is Justin Herbert throwing three interceptions in the first quarter. And Nick Bonito with three sacks already and like six pressures. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Jaleel McLaughlin now is hurt. Unbelievable. Okay. Well, there goes our two starting running backs. Samaji P. Ryan's still in the game. And that's going to be caught. Caleb Williams took a shot. 8 of 14, 62 yards. So, uh, yeah, you guys wanted to see uh, Caleb throw the ball? Well, <laughs> you guys are going to get it. And we're going to get this over the middle. Uh, that, I can't, oh, and another injury. You've, oh, we're cursed. We are cursed. Um, we're going to keep McLaughlin out for now. But Xavier Worthy with his first catch of his career and now is hurt. So that really sucks. And Samaji Pirine up the middle will have four on the carry. Four carries, 20 yards for him. So hopefully Worthy's injury is not too bad because... You know, we, we need him out there to, to develop. He ran with another carry. It will be third and one now. And Xavier Worth. Okay, he's fine. Johnson will come in for now. Let's go with bootleg here. Get Caleb out running. Try to hit Mims on that out or... Ah, uh, there's nothing open. Damn. We're going to have fourth and one. I think we just go for it here. Uh, I'm going to go with a quarterback sneak. Obviously, very popular in today's NFL. And we should be able to get a first down here, and we will. So first down to the 42-yard line. And let's get back to the run game here as McLaughlin is back. So luckily, his injury was not serious. And McLaughlin out to the left side and has a gain of seven. We're going deep. What a throw. Dorsett with the catch. Touchdown, Denver. What a throw from Caleb Williams. Wow. Uh, let's take a look at this replay. This was an outstanding throw from Caleb. Under pressure and just dropped it in the bucket. That was Beautiful. Dorset with a good route, too. Trying to see if I had anyone else open. Maybe Mims, but obviously that safety is back there. Brandon Johnson wasn't open. So I made the right decision. Obviously, it was a touchdown. But what a throw from Caleb. Hit as he threw it, too. And that was absolutely perfect. And we will take a 24-14 lead. The Chargers defense... Not great. Their secondary is pretty rough. They they do have 
you know, fantastic pass rushers, obviously, but no longer, uh, they don't have Khalil Mack any longer, but they still have Joey Bosa, and they have been getting some pressure. But we'll take a 24-14 lead. Justin Herbert on the day, 16 of 24, over 200 yards passing. Obviously, the three interceptions is not great. The Chargers will have third and two here. And Sanders makes a play in the backfield. What a play by Drew Sanders entering year two. He won rookie of the year last year, last season. Had a great year. And he makes a hell of a play there to force fourth and five. And the Chargers will go ahead and punt with less than just under four minutes to go here in quarter number three. A lot of dink and dunk here to the 49-yard line, just about at midfield. We'll go another quick throw. That's to Dulcich, and that's going to be inaccurate. Maybe threw that a little too early. Pressure was coming in, though. By the way, McLaughlin, four catches, 43 yards. He's been a big part of the offense on this drive in the passing game. Now in the run game. And McLaughlin down to the 36-yard line. 12 carries, 70 yards rushing for Jaleel McLaughlin. Wanting to get him involved. Actually, you know what? Let's go send him off to the right here. And, yep, we're going to go to him once again. And he is tackled by Joey Bosa. But it's a gain of three. We'll take it. Five catches, 46 yards for McLaughlin. And now we'll hand it off to Samaji Piran, who has a big gap off the left side. And he will have a first down. I'm really liking the ability to just get the ball to McLaughlin out in space. You know, we don't have to run it every time, but just getting him the ball and, you know, treating it as basically a run here. Like, that's what we need as Greg Dulcich will bring that one in. Caleb, 14 of 22, 139 yards and two touchdowns. What do we like here? I might just, you know what? I'm just going to change it to a run here. Get it to Samaji Piran, who will off be off to the left side again. And that's down to the seven-yard line. Seven carries over 40 yards and a touchdown for Samaji. And we'll go ahead and throw it again. This one to Marvin Mims. And Mims into the end zone. Touchdown. Three touchdown passes for Caleb Williams. And two receiving touchdowns for Marvin Mims. And we will take a 31 to 14 lead. What a game. And we've been nothing special offensively. Our defense has been off the charts, right? Justin Herbert's been awful. They haven't run the ball. It's just one of those games where everything's kind of gone our way. Third and 11, and this is Benito's time here. Can he get his fourth sack on the backup right tackle? And he's got after Herbert. And are you kidding me? <sighs> Unbelievable. Justin Herbert does a 360. Tosses it up. And Gerald Everett's wide open. Man. Didn't make the play, but Nick Bonito is going to be a problem for the league. <laughs> Holy moly. I think it's partially because, you know, he has plus speed, plus finesse moves, right? Like, he's a monster. Herbert empty backfield from the 21-yard line. And this will be caught by Palmer for a gain of eight. Herbert, 20 of 29. Has the three interceptions, but he's he's been pretty much perfect since the first quarter. And Herbert once again dumps it off, and that's going to be incomplete. Nice hit by Grant Delpit. And it will be a third and a two. We'll go ahead and use our Bonito again. I'm going to actually move inside here. Ah, it didn't work. Herbert has all the time in the world, and that will be a touchdown for Joshua Palmer. So the Chargers will score again, and we'll make it 31 to 21. Seven minutes to go. We just got to take care of the ball, run the ball, 
and uh, try to waste as much clock as possible. We have second and 11. We had a false start because we got tried to change to a run and the game wouldn't let me and we got called for a false start, which is very frustrating. That's picked. <laughs> He didn't carry. He didn't carry with the inside route. I... Unbelievable. I thought he was going to carry with Xavier Worthy. And maybe he was. I just threw it too early. I don't know. I mean, Xavier Worthy took so long on that route. That was the, the main problem. Because he went outside on an inside route. And Caleb throws a pick. Brutal. Brutal, 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 and Herbert will dump it off, and oh, okay. Missed tackle is there. It's a gain of nine. A perfect day for Caleb, and uh, that happens. That sucks. That really sucks. Second and one. It'll be a run up the middle, and Austin Eckler will run it into the end zone. Touchdown, LA, and we have a game now. Samaja Pira in a big run there off the left side. Nine carries, 64 yards, and a touchdown for him. And that's a big first down. We're trying to run the clock out here. Up by three. And uh, you know what? Let's have McLaughlin running out here. Uh, I'm trying to hurry. But it's just, the game is so goddamn slow. All right, well, that's a delay of game. That doesn't help. Unbelievable. I'm trying to snap the damn ball and, like, change McLaughlin's route. I thought I had enough time, but I guess not. We'll go play action here. And we've got Mims. And that's... Oof. Wasn't sure about that linebacker, you know, doing a freaking ninja move and intercepting that. But luckily, that is caught. Marvin Mims with a nice grab. Five catches, 38 yards for Mims. And on second inches, we'll go ahead and throw it again. And we'll have Brandon Johnson actually wide open. He drops it. Gets knocked out. Caleb, 16 of 26. And on third and inches, we'll go ahead and run the ball. Try to run off the left side here. Get a first down with McLaughlin. And McLaughlin should have it. He does. Okay, barely. But we will have it. Go and play action here. And we have Xavier Worthy wide open. And he's down to the three-yard line. There we go. That's a nice play. And we'll have first and goal at the two-minute warning. A touchdown will not win it, but will put us in a really good spot. And I'm actually not going to throw it. Oh, it's going to... Okay, hold on. I need to close this. No, let's just run it here. Oh, it's going to give us a false start here. Yeah, there's nowhere to go. And the Chargers will call a timeout. Okay. Um, I mean, we could trust a slant here with Marvin Mims. And can Mims get open? He... Ugh, not accurate. So third and goal. And the... Worst, the bad part about that one is that the Chargers don't call a timeout. We're going to hand it off to Samaji here. Up the middle and touchdown, Denver. That should do it. That makes this game a two-score lead. Gives us a two-score lead. It will be 38-28. to 28. With a minute and 51 to go. The Chargers are going to have to score quickly and then go for an onside kick because they only have two timeouts. So they might as well use their two timeouts offensively uh, and just try and score as quickly as possible. And then you got to hope that you recover the onside kick. Chargers moving quickly here. A minute and a half to go. And good pass protection there. That's to Austin Eckler. Nice spin move and he'll have a first down across midfield. They're continuing to go no huddle. Just over a minute to go. And, oh, Benito got chipped there. And Herbert will just throw it away. So we'll have second and ten now. With a minute and five seconds to go. 
You know what? I'm going to kind of get out a little bit wider here with Benito. Try to use his speed. Get around. And under pressure is Herbert. He's going to do the same crap. Are you kidding me? This game, dude. That is so ridiculous. That should not happen. That can't happen in this game. Unbelievable. First in goal for Herbert. And that's going to be over the middle to Palmer. They're not using timeouts, stupidly. 40 seconds to go. And Herbert will dump it off. And a great tackle by Drew Sanders. We'll have third and goal. And, yeah, the Chargers, I mean, the, the, this game sucks, dude. You, they need to call a timeout. And Herbert will throw it up. Eckler makes the catch. That's Eckler's, like, third or fourth touchdown of this game. He's having a hell of a fantasy day. As he does the waddle. 14 seconds to go. If they used their timeouts, they would have had more time. It'll be 38-35. And they will go ahead and kick it onside here. Uh, I love how McLaughlin is on the hands team. And Sills will have it. Just get down. And that will do it. Caleb Williams will get in victory formation. And will win... His first ever NFL start. We'll go ahead and do that again. Three touchdown passes for Caleb. Did throw a pick. I, I think that was on Xavier Worthy, to be honest, because he ran the wrong route or like a weird route. Bad release. He, he released to the outside on an inside route. Tried to time it on the outside route to forget who it was, Mims or Brandon Johnson, but Worthy's route took too long. Either way, we get the win. 38-35 in Caleb's debut. And we'll look at the stats here. Benito, probably the player of the game, as he was awesome. Herbert, 27 of 38, 374 yards, three touchdowns. Did throw the three picks all in the first quarter. Caleb, 17 of 29, 201 yards, 58% completion percentage. Not great. Need that number to go up. Uh, had a lot of, had a few drops though. So, eh. Three touchdowns and obviously the one pick. That 40 yard pass though uh, was a touchdown pass, was a beautiful throw. McLaughlin, 16 carries, 80 yards with uh, Javante getting hurt. Samaji P. Ryan, 10 carries, 68 yards and two touchdowns. Eckler, 9 carries, 46 yards and two touchdowns. Javante, before he got injured, three carries and he had 10 yards. Gerald Everett, six catches, 142 yards, and obviously the benefit of just 360 passes, apparently. Uh, and then for us, Marvin Mims, five catches, 38 yards, and two touchdowns. McLaughlin, five for 46. Dulcich, three for 20. Worthy, two for 56. And Philip Dorsett had the touchdown grab. It's a 35-yard uh, touchdown catch. Brandon Johnson, one catch for six yards. And then defensively, Sanders had eight tackles, one TFL. But Nick Bonito... Four tackles, four TFLs, three sacks. He was unreal. Wow. Interceptions, pass Sertan with two, Singleton with one. Pass deflection, Sertan with one. No forced fumbles, and we get the win at 38-35. We got three player upgrades here. Chris Manhurts, we will just give him uh, possession. He goes up to a 65 overall. And Riley Moss, we will go with man coverage. Yeah, 67 man is awful. So we'll give him man coverage here. He goes up to a 74 overall, plus one man, plus one zone. And then Javante, we will give um, power back. He goes up to an 85 overall, plus two awareness, plus one break tackle, plus one stiff arm. And we'll see. I missed how long he's out. So we'll check the injury report and see how long he's going to be out. Hopefully it's not too long. Uh, well, Ben Powers is out seven. Oh, wow. Javante's going to be fine. Okay. Our offense line is just torched. Ben Powers out for seven weeks. Mike McGlinchey out for one more week. Zach Allen's out. Uh, we'll be back next week. So, yeah. Ben Powers being out really hurts. That sucks. We'll look at uh, key to victory here. As we did get a win. And uh, Javante felt great to impose our will and dominate the other team in the trenches. Can't wait to watch it back on film. Yeah, well, you didn't play. You were hurt. So, 
it was fantastic watching it live you can see there uh will breaking the longer the game went on a great uh, not really they did come back <laughs> so eh, all offensive linemen earned 4500 xp though that's huge we got 10 staff points as well you mentioned wanting to see flashes out of Caleb Williams, and he seemed to deliver that this week. What impressed you the most in his debut? Um, Let's do... Ooh, attribute upgrade or XP reward? Let's do the attribute up upgrade. Poise under pressure. He showed a lot of poise for a rookie, which was impressive. The game didn't look too fast for him, and that's some that's been something he's been showing since day one. And that throw, that touchdown to Dorset under pressure was perfect. Plus three, throw under pressure, which is huge for a rookie quarterback that's awesome so we will go ahead and advance we've got a tough one the kansas city chiefs and oh a tandem breakout interesting rivalry game uh i'll go over the upgrades here really quick a lot of just offensive line ben powers will go ahead and upgrade his pass protection obviously he's gonna miss pretty much the first half of the season quinn miners once again, we'll do pass. We're gonna do pass protection all, on all of these guys. We need pass protection up, uh, especially when you know we have a rookie quarterback who isn't great under pressure. He's good, but he's not great. Joe Alt, 79 overall, plus two pass block finesse. Uh, Christian Senior will go ahead and give him pass protection as well. He gets uh, both finesse and power and then we're gonna have the cpu just do the rest of them and we have 60 staff points by the way so we could use that in the next episode but there you go we are one and oh and we will play the chiefs in week two where they won uh 38 35 wow same score huh okay they had 300 yards passing we only had 190 um but uh yeah interesting pretty much identical games all right well i'll see you guys in week two hope you guys enjoyed hit that like button if you did subscribe if you guys are new to the channel i'll see you guys in week two against the kansas city chiefs